All right, battery time. Let's talk about charging. For some reason, people are really confused about charging batteries. That's probably the top question we get. How do you charge that battery? How do you charge this other battery? And I'm, I'm kind of surprised because charging batteries is super simple. Let me show you. These right here are battery chargers. There's different sizes, there's different specs, but they're all do the same thing. They charge battery. This is right here, one of those little ones that are usually found on like scooters and small e-bikes and stuff like that. It's, this was a two amp charger. It's made for a 36 volt battery, but they make them for a 48 volt battery. They make them for a 52 volt battery. They make it for a 96 volt battery, 72 volt battery. For any of those, they make a charger that's about this size. All you have to do is look at your spec of your battery and then just find the charger that does those same specs and then you can use it. Now, the connectors, there's a million different connectors. So yeah, you can, you're can. you gonna have to find the one. If you can't find the one that doesn't have the right connector, you're just gonna have to buy the connector yourself and then solder it yourself, install a different and change it. Sometimes you can get adapters, right? It's from this connector to another type of connector stuff, but it's all the same stuff. Now they make bigger chargers. These I like using because these are variable power supplies. These are chargers that you can set to whatever the spec of the battery you have. You have a, a 12 volt battery, you can set it right here to whatever the range is of a battery, right? A 12 volt battery is not really a 12 volt battery. It's more like a nine volt to a 14 volt battery. Why is it called a 12 volt battery? It's because it spends most of its time around 12 volts. So that's what they call it. It's the nominal voltage of the pack, right? So this one allows you to charge 12 volt batteries, you know, six volt batteries, 18 volt batteries, 24 volt batteries, 36 volt batteries, all the way to 80 volts. This one will do all the way to 60 volts uh, and it will do eight amps. That's that charger. There's smaller, a slightly bigger one. This one will do all the way to 80 volts. See that 80 volts right there? And it'll do 12 and a half amps. So this one puts out a little bit more power than that one, but it's the same thing. This one's fully adjustable. Now there are bigger chargers. This one will do 2,500 watts, right? And that's what I use on my uh, DIY car over there. We have three of these in here. So my car charges at seven uh, kilowatts, seven and a half kilowatts. And so these ones are not adjustable. These ones, you have to get the one that's for your battery. You have 36 volt battery. They sell one like this, that's uh, 36. If you have a 48 volt battery, whatever battery, right? So for charging something like this off of that, right? Or off of solar, people are like, how can we charge this and that at the same time off of solar? There's several ways you can split the solar for it to go half of the energy going here and then half going in there but that gets a little bit complicated because now you have two mppt charge controllers chargers that are fighting for the same electrons that are coming off of your uh solar panels and sometimes there might be downtimes because both will push the solar panels too far and where the solar panels will collapse that's what solar panels do when you push them too hard they just collapse down to zero volts and then there's no, and then until you can reset it and it takes a, you know, a few either between seconds to minutes for a, your gear to uh, set again. And then it's, it might just be doing that all day, right? So that's why it's not the greatest idea to install two solar charge controllers off of the same solar panels in your roof, right? So instead what you can do is you can charge this guy with your solar panels. You can do up to 1600 Watts we've seen, right? Uh, 150 volts at 10 amps or 15 amps, something like that. And then what you could do is you could just plug your regular little battery charger in here and then charge your batteries that way. Now, of course, this is, people are gonna say that is not the best way because there's a lot of losses. But yes, there is losses, but that's free energy that you're getting from the sun anyway, so who cares? If you want faster, then you just use this one. And if you want even faster, you use that one. And then even faster, you use something like that right all you need it's a 48 volt battery charger because these batteries right here are 48 volts now of course if you're going to do something like we did yesterday where we plug two of these in series now you're now you're going to need a 48 volt battery now you're going to need a 98 volt battery because now that becomes a 98 volt battery system right and if you want to charge them without having to disconnect them all and then reconnect them then you're going to need that but you know, at 48, this is how you're gonna run these most of the time. Most of the people, that's what is recommended by everyone. 
uh, to do, you're gonna need a 48 volt charger. So I'm going to show you how that process looks. I'm gonna connect that to the wall and I'm gonna connect these to that and then see uh, what rates what rates we're charging and stuff, right? All right, so here we go. We just plugged it into the wall there, right? So we're charging. Now the same thing, you can put solar panels in the back of this unit and it'll be charging 1600 watts, right? So we turn the AC on then now this charger is getting power from the AC and now that's charging these batteries. And if you look over here, there we go. Six amps are going into this battery here and then you can turn them all on and there's be charging. It's gonna take a long time to charge this way, right? It's a big battery, it's a 20 kilowatt hour battery. But you could do it this way. And of course you could use a bigger charger and if you have the ability to charge off of the wall, then I would plug that into the wall and crank it up instead of uh, doing it in here. But in case that you need to charge off a of solar, yeah, and this is going to be a bit, uh, and it's gonna be a bit uh, inefficient because now you're doing a bunch of conversions, uh, DC to AC, back down to DC, right and then into the walls here but if it's free sunshine then who cares you know this is a quick easy way to do it now you can over complicate things and do it some other way and that if that works for you that works for you but this definitely works all right i hope that helps clear out some of the confusion uh i know that some of you guys are asking for very specific like which connector which charger should i use to charge this battery it gets a little hard for me to do that because i'm like well you could use that one or this one or that one or that one right and so i know that sometimes giving you too many choices because there are a million choices to do some of this stuff gets confusing right so i do try to hit the you know the happy middle ground there sometimes uh and sometimes i hit the mark and sometimes i completely miss the mark uh but you know, just keep posting the questions. The reason I'm making these videos is because I keep seeing the same questions over and over and over again in, the, uh, in my channel, right? And all the videos that I'm doing. And so, yeah, if you keep posting the questions, I will eventually be like, oh, I know, I can answer that question. Let me just build this little thing and this little rig and stuff. And so, thank you for watching all these videos. I'll see you guys on the next one.